Just looking at the sheer size of this construction site, it may be hard to believe that the amount of waste coming out of it is virtually non-existent. 87% of all construction debris coming out of Rogers Place is staying away from the landfill and going right into the recycle bin. It's silver by design, but green at heart. An arena so energy efficient, some are calling it a building of the future. Building really truly is a, a, a a building which will, will set a standard uh, that others will aspire to uh, for decades to come in our belief. Rogers Place is making a name for itself. It will be the first NHL arena in the country to achieve LEED Silver certification from the Canada Green Building Council and our building will be only the second uh, newly built arena in North America that will be certified uh, to the LEED uh, environmental standard. Uh, we're really proud of that. So how did Rogers Place achieve this feat? It doesn't just happen overnight. LEED means leadership in energy and environmental design. The building uses less energy, fuel and water and manages waste better. Let's start with energy savings right from the top. This high albedo reflective roof covers 100% of the building and helps reduce heat gain to improve human comfort. Inside the building, you'll find lots of LED bulbs and motion-activated light switches, ultimately showing a reduction in energy use by 14%. We're one of the early uh, users of LED sports lighting. These are all things that are targeted at reducing uh, replacement uh, of equipment and, and ensuring you have long life of equipment, but also fundamentally uh, focused on reducing energy consumption. Now, what about keeping that ice cool? Chemicals that virtually don't release emissions that contribute to ozone depletion have been selected, and both the main rink and the community rink share the same operation facility. Great efficiency, of course, in having one facility that manages uh, the ice plant operations of, uh, of, of two separate rinks. It's hard to believe, but an arena built to entertain tens of thousands can be easy on water usage too. The facility's low flow toilets and efficient fixtures will use around 37% less H2O than an arena of a similar size. I can say certainly our organization takes great pride in, uh, in being green. The materials that went into building this green giant are something to be proud of too. Over 20% of what makes up Rogers Place is recycled. Healthy cleaning and building materials are also being used. It's not that easy being green. Oh, but it is. You can also do your part and show Kermit what's up come September. Recycling will be made easy. Each space will have a bin marked for different materials like glass and paper. Connectivity means major brownie points in the LEED certification system. There will be 12 electric car charging stations, bus routes and the LRT. When the 102nd Avenue alignment goes in, there will be seven LRT stops within a 10 minute walk of Rogers Place, including the McEwen station, which is at the northwest corner. The goal is to be as energy efficient as possible, even when the doors are open. That extends beyond how it's heated and cooled. The NHL's Rock and Wrap It Up program is a prime example. Instead of throwing away prepared but unsold food, the program takes it and donates it to organizations like the Food Bank so they can then feed others in the city. It is an initiative of the NHL led by none other than Gary Bettman. Uh, to push all NHL teams uh, towards uh, green operations. To promote a healthy and sustainable community, the City of Edmonton has a policy that any new city building has to meet the LEED Silver Guideline at a minimum. It's something we can be proud of too. As a community, uh, this major building and, and you know this iconic building in our downtown that is causing all this other good stuff to follow is setting a standard for uh, energy efficiency that others will now, I think, have to follow. This was something where there was a complete synergy of uh, a viewpoint between us and the City of Edmonton. Extending the existing footprint in the city, in low carbon form, as the LEED standards flood into the development of Ice District. Now here I am on top of the Edmonton Tower, a building that was built to meet LEED Gold certification. That giant hole you see below me, that's where the new Stantec Tower will be, a building that is also on track for that LEED Gold certification. 
For more information on sustainability at Rogers Place, you can visit our website and social media channels. Next week on Ice Level, I give you a sneak peek that will leave your taste buds tingling. I take a look at the brand new menu, and just a heads up, there's a lot more to it than just popcorn and hot dogs. For Ice Level, I'm Jessica Kent. Thanks for watching.